Hi, I'm Brian with Geeking Akron, and I'm coming to you from the server room deep in the bowels, the dark underbelly recesses of the Akron Radio Center, primarily because I want to uh, tell you a little something about what Google's doing, and they're opening up a free public DNS service. Now, there's going to be a majority of people that visit AkronNewsNow.com uh, that would probably don't even know what a DNS server is, and that's fine. Uh, the DNS server is basically a server, actually there's hundreds of thousands of them spread all across the country and the world, possibly even millions, I have no idea. But these things are truly the backbone of the internet, because their function, uh, as, as what DNS stands for implies, domain uh, name server, takes all those requests that you type into a browser, uh, or uh, that you use to configure your email or anything else, and actually turns it into a numeric address. So your query, your, your search across the internet, can take that name and match it to content or to servers or to, uh, to, to server clouds and computing clouds that are on uh, systems all the way across the country or across the world. Now, every, of the, uh, every one of these internet servers that are publicly available have what's called an IP address. And this IP address, again, uh, it, it's, like a, it's like a telephone number. And if you don't know the telephone number, uh, what you end up having to do is consult a phone book. Well, most people don't know what uh, IP address is, whatever particular server they're trying to visit is. And so, therefore, this makes the web user-friendly. And uh, almost every uh, you know, medium to large business, and especially if you're an internet service provider, web host, or uh, anything else with complicated uh, you know, computing or, uh, or, or network infrastructures, you've got these things sometimes in droves. Now, uh, it was recently announced again that Google was putting out uh, a, a free DNS service. Now, it doesn't cover all bases for uh, all types of uh, computing environments and business environments and that sort of thing. But if you're a consumer, what this basically does is it takes a lot of the server infrastructure uh, off the hands uh, if, if they want to have it taken off the hands uh, of your ISPs or anyone else in order to make the, uh, the queries that they conduct a whole lot faster. Instead of having to go from uh, one server to the next to the next to the next doing these, uh, these lookups that, uh, that, that travel up and down the, uh, the, the chain of the internet and these hierarchies that are set up, if one server doesn't know uh, the, the, the proper address for a domain name then it hops up one higher in the uh, in the hierarchy until they get to what are called root servers or domain name servers that are above everything else. But uh, basically, uh, it, it eliminates a whole lot of, uh, uh, of bouncing around and it can make a whole lot of uh, uh, searches and makes, uh, and makes just resolving these domain names a lot faster. So, it being a free service, I do have to ask, why? I mean, that is a ton of bandwidth that they're asking to be placed directly on their shoulders so as to speed up the internet. Now, I don't have any problem with them doing it in the way that they've already uh, pr uh, provided documentation so far. I've read through it as, as much as was available and uh, basically it just says, hey, come to us, we'll resolve it for you. You don't need to have a Google account. You don't need to have anything set up for us. All you need to use is to use our servers and when you set up your internet or you set up your phone, or you set up uh, anything else, you just type in uh, these two sets of IP address numbers to use as lookups. Uh, the first DNS is 8.8.8.8. That's simple. The other one is 8.8.4.4. That's also pretty simple. Those of us, especially in the trades, won't have any problem uh, even just memorizing those. Now, as I said, the, uh, the, it's not a, a big sol a free solution for all people. Uh, anytime that you serve out the uh, 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 you know websites and you're inside of a large network like we are right here. We're going to have to have private DNS systems because we have test servers, we have non-public mission critical stuff that runs our radio stations for uh, uh, for the stuff here at the Akron Radio Center, uh, as well as uh, well just anything that you can think of that you know, that you don't want publicly available. And so what we have are private DNS servers that are essentially instead of resolving uh, domain names into uh, uh, the, these phone numbers for the internet, it's more like it resolves extension numbers like your internal phones inside a building. So, well, we're probably not going to be getting rid of those anytime soon, but uh, it remains to be seen if as an organization we're going to use anything uh, here at the Akron Radio Center, but generally speaking, I see no downside to this. 
the only theoretical question that I have, again, this comes back to the why that I threw out, is if the uh, it, it, if the specifications from uh, the World Wide Web Consortium and the uh, the uh, and ICANN, uh, which is the governing body for uh, assigned names and numbers, as long as those protocols stay the same, then there is absolutely no problem uh, with, with using them, except if they change. If Google gets such a mass amount of traffic that they can actually start rolling out their own protocols and uh, almost forcing it on other people, saying, hey, listen, Google's got it, and they've got 30% of all web traffic in the world, then maybe there might be something to revisit about this. But until then, the uh, specifications stay the same, the protocols stay the same. If you're not happy with it, you can always go back to your private and uh, private public domain name servers. So anyways, I think this is probably something that we're going to try out, uh, at least in a test scenario, and uh, we'll look further into it there. But if you're an IT or you're a small business person and you want to actually knock down the number of uh, uh, servers that you have, well, that's possibly something that you want to look into. Anyhow, I'm Brian with Geeking Akron. Uh, send me any questions that you have. I can try to address them in the blog. Thanks a lot.